I'm Meg Turney, and I like anime. I'm Ross Everett, and I prefer boom boxes. Yo, I'm Meg Turney, and I... Nope, there's nothing. This week we watched Bleach, or Burichi, if you're feeling Or space little. kicking in every single circumstance imaginable. The show starts out and it's just like, face kick, face kick, face kick. What did I say and to you when I started it? There's a lot of face kicking. It's, I literally stopped it to say, I think we're gonna have to do a face kick at the end of this episode because and there's I so said, much face kick. And I said, thank you for taking that bullet. Every time I had something negative about this anime, being like, this is BS, I do not like this, the actor or the character in the show calls it out. Like, oh, Oh, will you take down that weird poster in memoriam thing? And I was like, oh, I was just about to say how weird that was. <laughs> so to back up a little bit, Bleach tells the story of Ichigo who finds out that basically he's a Shinigami, which is a soul reaper and an all around badass. And yeah, he has superhuman. a big sword. Ping! Did you get that? Like, oh, I've never seen someone so powerful. I've never seen someone's sword so I big. didn't. I didn't take it that way. I, I but thought I, it was a little like, ping. She'd never seen a sword grow that big. you never seen them. Maybe she's not doing it right. <laughs> Work the sh top. No. Nope. One of the things I liked about this anime, I have to say, is first of all, the music was incredible. I think it easily had the best music of any of them that we've watched so far. Ooh, big claim. I loved, like, the, like it's like the little background music I thought was really interesting. And I have to say, this is one of the funniest series we've watched. I really? thought this was so funny. Like I laughed a lot. Fighting. See, what I found is I was like, this is clearly done to be a joke. It didn't strike me as humorous, but I was like aware, like, at first, it, like, it bothered me, and I was like, I don't know, get why they're fighting. And then I was like, oh, it's it's supposed to be comedy. They're doing this because it's it's funny to some people. It did not resonate with me. Oh, however. you didn't like that? Like the when they're fighting, when the dad and Ichigo are fighting, they're like floating all the way around, and like I just I thought it was uh, very. But also, I don't know. where are my pajamas? I don't know where your friggin' pajamas are. And then like boom, homegirls in the pajamas. Yeah, it made me laugh. I think part of it actually comes from like we were talking about this that the animation seems a little bit older than what I'd like to see with an animated show. And you were saying that this is from a director that likes that older style of animation. Yeah, so Bleach started in 2004, but Noriyuki Abe also directed some amazing anime that have kind of that dated look like GTO, uh, Tokyo Mew Mew, and also Flame of Recco, which is one of my favorites. So the style didn't really bother me that much, but um, he does kind of have like a dated style because he's been in the industry for so long, like since the 90s. I feel like there's something going on with that red-headed girl character that's gonna come later. She bothered me just because it was like, like, come on, you get walked into a knockdown, you get hit by a car and you're fine, but like this guy's offering to give you a ride home, don't be so proud. Oh, like, no, take, she's take embarrassed. A walk home. Like, no, but okay, bullshit, okay. you just got hit by a car. But she, we don't, first of all, I don't think she got hit by the car. Oh, you because, think she's just clumsy and fell down behind the car? Well, but she had the mark on her leg from the hollow. Oh, and they and don't so remember it, any of the demons or any of that kind right. of stuff when it happens. And okay. so, and it's her brother, so it could he, but it could have been coming for her. All right. I liked Orihime a lot. My friend Stephanie Shea actually voices Orihime in the English dub, so I have like a little special place in my heart for her. But I didn't like, the one thing I didn't like about Orihime was when she's talking to her friend, and then she starts reenacting some weird scene right before the hollow comes for them. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell? Is this girl having a stroke? What's going on I here? I want to know why she eats such weird food. Oh, I... Like, <laughs> is that just a character trait or is that playing to something like, oh, when you lose a brother, you're grieving, you eat weird food? I can't tell if it's like she just isn't good at taking care of herself or she just likes weird stuff. Maybe she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> but for some reason, this anime did not grab me in, in the way that some of the ones in the past have. And it's just like, it, not that I disliked it as much as, again, some of the ones in the past have, but it, I was really in the middle of this. I don't think I'd keep watching it. I like Bleach a lot. I thought it was really interesting. It definitely grabbed me. I thought it was funny, and I, I'm just such a big uh, Noriyuki Abe fan, so I would keep watching it for sure. What kind of anime was this? This is Shonen anime and actually premiered in Weekly Shonen Jump, so uh, Shonen through and through. Through and through. Next week, we're going to be watching... Log Horizon. You guys have been asking for it, and since we liked Sword Art Online so much, you guys said we would enjoy this one, so we're taking your suggestion. And first thoughts, I think it's going to be about log cabins. Ooh. Ooh. Fingers crossed. If you guys want to watch Log Horizon with us, you head on over to crunchyroll.com slash sfnerd. It'll give you a free premium trial. You guys can watch that anime, film your responses to it, and upload it to YouTube using the hashtag sfnlog, where we will find it and put you at the end of the videos just like these people. I'm watching it. Nothing's happening. So it has a really good plot. It actually reminded me a little bit of Yu Yu Hakusho. In this show, he's kind of like ghost samurai, but in Yu Yu Hakusho, he's like ghost cop, sort of. The general premise is the same. A lot of the times it goes from a really sort of soft, cutesy scene with, you know, kind of like pastel backgrounds and hearts and sparkles 
to really creepy creature with like 10 legs and a freaking evil face mask and red beady eyes. Literally within seconds of transition, you go from cute to creepy. Bleach. It was a good anime, sort of. If I were you, if you watch Bleach, season one and season two, uh, everything else, nah. He's supposed to be 15, but he looks like orange haired anime Joel McHale. Like that, no, you're not 15. And then everyone else in the school is either almost the same height as him or taller. Where are all these kids coming from? Why are they gigantic? This type of show is what I like to refer to as cerebral junk food. Readily available, easy to digest, but not something you want all the time. Whenever Ichigo, who's the main character, becomes a soul reaper, his katana is like three times as long and like three times as thick as the other people or the other soul reaper swords. Compensating for something? I think so. It was a bit slow for the first ten episodes and now it's suddenly brought down to something much more interesting and I will very carefully ration my viewing of this because it is such a long series. If I actually tried to marathon my way through this my head would explode. What can I truly say about Bleach? It's a long drawn out shonen show, it's full of filler and BS. Go watch like Fruits Basket, like just something else because this show, it's not worth it man. Alright Ross, that was really fun. Uh, see you later. Ah! Bleach. Oh, I actually hit my head. <laughs>